Hello and welcome to your Pilates workout. Um, so you don't need anything but a mat. This is your quarantine workout number two. Please be mindful that I am a personal trainer and I'm not a video editor. So these things aren't going to be perfect, but hopefully it can keep you going throughout your weeks and enjoy your Wednesday workout that I did yesterday, but I'm uploading today. First things first, in Pilates we breathe laterally, so it's diaphragmatic breathing. So when you're breathing, you're breathing into the sides of your ribs, through the nose, so it's like, you're filling your rib cage up with air, and then on the exhale, out through your mouth, kind of like you're blowing out a candle, and just trying to keep this breath up. So you're breathing in to expand your diaphragm, and big breath out, and you'll feel your abs pull and contract. Pilates does focus on core work a lot, so, that's the main purpose of Pilates. So do use the breath, it helps your abs work a little bit harder. Have fun. This exercise is hip rolls. So from here, we're lying on our back. We're breathing into the side ribs. Exhale, you're gonna to start to posteriorly tilt the pelvis. You're peeling the spine up off the floor like a sticker. Breathing in at the top. Exhale to drop your rib cage, your middle back, your lower back, and your tower in one vertebrae at a time. Now we're gonna and to really tilt the pelvis to arch that lumbar spine. Now we're going to posteriorly tilt the pelvis to flatten through our back and then peeling up again. So what this is doing is creating spinal articulation. And it's also just getting nice flow and fluidity through those joints in the spinal column. It's a nice exercise, but don't forget to add the breath. So breathing in, exhale. Breathing in at the top. Exhale, and continue through 10 times. So the next exercise is a hip raise. So you're just going to lift your hips up and down. Hips up and down to breathe in. Exhale, lift. Inhale, hinge from the hip joint only now. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. Exhale, lift. One thing we're looking out for is that our knees and our hips and our ankles are all in the same line. We're keeping our rib cage here connected to the top of our pelvis. So we're using those deep abdominals. Okay, now we're gonna make this a little bit harder. So you can take your left leg to tabletop. That's when your shin bone is parallel with the sky. From here, breathe in, exhale, lift up. Inhale, drop down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale, drop down. We have 10. So we've got seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Now you're going to extend your leg up to the ceiling, point your leg down, flex your foot, high kick. So point down, flex, high kick, point down, flex, high kick. Again, we have 10. It's trying to keep the stability through the pelvis nice and level so this shouldn't be rocking side to side. Okay, after 10, hinge from here. You just got little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Four, three, two, one. Oh, you're gonna do that two times. Sorry, that wasn't very clear. So what you're gonna do is what I did on the single leg twice. So two times each leg, so four sets really. Um, yeah, it's a killer, have fun. Okay, so your next one is a little bit of an ab series. The first one is 100, so the breath is a little bit funny. It goes in through the nose for five counts and out through the mouth for five counts. So it's like, like you have a sniffy nose, then like you're blowing out a candle. So it's a hundred counts like that, and the arms it looks like this. As we pulse the arms, the abs contract harder and harder and harder. This is actually quite hard. So this is a modification here with your knees bent, and if that's still too hard, you can do the hands like this. So your chin stays stuck to your chest. You're really feeling reach to your fingertips. And now it goes in, two, three, four, five, up, two, three, four, five, in, two, three, four, five, up, 
Last count in two, three, four, five, out, two, three, four, five, one hundred. Okay, so now you've got your single leg stretch, your straight leg stretch, and then double leg stretch. So they are 20 reps each. The double leg is 15. And they go as follows. So from your dish position, you grab your shin bone, you put your nose on your knee, and you squeeze your abs. You switch legs, you squeeze your abs, you switch legs, you squeeze your abs. So you're trying to maintain neutral spine and neutral pelvis as you do this ab exercise. Oh, I think I have 10 more. I kind of can't talk and count at the same time. My clients will know that. Go, 10 more. Nine. It's also a hip dissociation exercise, this one. And the breath is inhale, inhale, exhale, exhale. So. All the way to 20. Now we got our straight legs. You can go pull, pull, reach and swap. Pull, pull, reach and swap. Pull, pull, reach and swap. You get a hamstring stretch and you get to work your abs at the same time. Oh, good. And reach and you're really trying to reach your ankles. Swap and reach. And again, you're focusing on that neutral spine. So you're keeping a gap present in your lower back. Good, I think I've got five more. <laughs> Three, but you guys have 20, so count. Two, one. Now I'm gonna go from here. Dish into a bloody ball, so we squeeze it all in really tight. Really feel a nice stretch. Exhale, pull in and squeeze. Stretch, squeeze, stretch, squeeze. So our body's really tight. Our glutes are squeezed as we take our legs long. We're squeezing our legs together. My abs are burning, I'm sure yours will be too. Squeeze, go. And seven more. Six. And inhale, stretch. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, stretch. Now you can have a little rest, we're going to do that twice, so repeat it all again from the 100s, single leg stretch, straight leg stretch, and your double leg stretch, and your abs will burn. Okay, next you have your two ab exercises, we have the roll down and the roll over. So I'm going to explain them to you, these are ab exercises, but they're also good stretchy exercises, so you get to mobilize that spine a little bit. Work those deep core muscles and it's great for your posture. So, to start with, you sit up super tall. Imagine that you're like a shot on a string, your rib cage is directly above your pelvis from here. You feel your fingers reach forward, breathe into your rib cage, exhale, draw the belly in, touch reach into your chest, and getting like that C curve through your upper back. From here, keep exhaling the whole way down. Arm breathe up overhead, breathe in. Exhale, come forward. So you go through that C curve again, hamstring stretch. And then you're gonna stack the spine all the way up and start again. So you're breathing in, exhale, draw the belly in, rolling down, arms reach up overhead, breathe in. Exhale, forward, fall, come into that hamstring stretch. And you're gonna stack your spine up all the way. And continuing through. Your pads fall down a little bit in this one, but that's okay. Breathe in. Exhale, come forward, hamstring stretch, and then you're stacking the spine up, vertebrae by vertebrae. Try not to do this when you come up and go down, like we're trying to relax, have really good posture. Come reach up, exhale, come through, scoop the belly in, reach, and then scoop it all up, stack the spine. Breathe in, exhale, drawing in, inhale, arms come up overhead. I'm just gonna pull my pants up again. Exhale, forward fold. Stacking the spine. Oh yeah. So you have 10 
And the next one is a roll over. So this one's a little bit funny. If you do have sore neck or back problems, maybe just keep doing the other one. Back from here, it is fun. Hands down to the side. Breathing in to prepare. Exhale, you're gonna go over. Split your legs, flex your feet. Roll the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae. You do a big circle with your legs. You squeeze your heels together, point your toes. Exhale, back over. Split, flex, roll. Big leg circles. You only want to take your legs as wide as you can control your pelvis and your neutral spine. Heels squeeze together, point your toes. Back over. So my legs are super tight. I'm squeezing my quads. I'm squeezing my adductors here really tight. When I go over my inner thighs, it's super tight. I'm scooping my abs up as much as I can. I'm pushing the floor down, activating my triceps. It really is a full body workout. And you have 10. Again, I've lost count, but I think I have about five more. So those are pretty fun. Um, do that twice as well because it's good for your spine. Okay, so what's a Pilates class without a plank? So we've got a plank series, 45 seconds each. From here, you come onto your forearms, shoulders are over your elbows, bum is down, and you're bringing your elbow down to your pelvis. Next up is a side plank, so there's a couple options here. Remember, bottom leg is always back, front leg is always forward, so this just helps to keep the pelvis really nice and stacked. You don't want it to move back and forward on your side plank. So if you are super advanced, you can go straight up, so front leg forward, bottom leg back, and you're up and you're holding here for 45 seconds. So what I'm looking for is that your hand is under your shoulder, the pelvis is nicely stacked, your arms are reaching up forward, and you can make this a little bit more of a Pilates plank and feel that stretch through that side body on the top. Here I'm feeling my armpit muscles, my waist, I'm squeezing my legs together, I'm squeezing my glutes, and I'm staying pretty strong. If you do get dodgy wrists, come down to your elbows, and the same applies. If you're super new to Pilates, just come to your knees, up and hold, that's another option, or you can come to your forearm here, up and hold here. So another way you can make this even harder is coming up into your plank, take your top leg off, and that is called a star, just like you are. Okay, that was really cheesy. But again, you're gonna do those planks two times, 45 seconds each, if you need a rest, so be it, that's cool. All right, we're making our way through pretty good. So we've got a few more exercises. We've got our commandos and then a side kick, which is killer for the side back. So this one's gonna get that heart rate up again. You are in a full plank. Then you go, Albert, Albert, pump, pump. Albert, Albert, pump, pump. You're trying to keep your pelvis really still here. So you don't wanna do like these things. Hips are wibbling heaps. It's much better to do it properly. Come down to your knees, keep your abs connected, so rib case down to the top of your pelvis, and then continue like this. So quality is much, much better than quantity, especially if you're trying to get stronger and build your body up. So that's the first one. You have 16, so eight each side. You're gonna to come to your kneeling side plank, so your knees are together. Heels are right into your butt. You come up to that side plank. We're gonna take that top leg out. You point your foot forward, flex your foot, take it back. Point forward, flex back. So focusing on keeping that pelvis really stiff. What I don't wanna see is like this happening through the body and I don't wanna see this leg going like this. So point forward, flex up. Keep the height on the back leg and your hand can come up here or on the hip. If you really want to feel that way, you should feel your side butt muscle and your glutes quite a lot here. And again, you have 12 on each leg. Then you'll simply change sides. So point forward, flex back, so on, so on. Repeat that twice. Next up, we have one of my favorite exercises. It's called the seal. 
So what you do is you sit on your bum, you bring your hands through your legs, you grab your ankle, and then you sit up really tall, you hover your feet, roll the belly in, do kind of like a backwards roll, stack the spine, and that's one. Here's a little bit of extra repertoire. So when you're over here, you clap your heels together twice, and then you come up to stack the slide again. Roll, clap, clap, and sit up tall. Roll, clap, clap, sit up tall. It's a great um, spinal mobility exercise. It's also what you call plus it's super fun. So. Those are your Pilates exercises. We're gonna do a little bit of stretching so you've worked your glutes pretty hard. One of my favorite glute stretches is your pigeon. So you come into a push-up position. Bring your knee on a closed angle. So that means it's pretty close here. Hips are facing forward and can come down and hold that. So it's a true glute stretch if the knee joint is close and across the body. It's a piriformis stretch if you bring the shin bone parallel with the mat much harder but it's a different stretch so it's good to know next one is bring your knee in you're going to stretch those hamstrings hold each hamstring stretch for 45 seconds each another glute option would be to do your figure four here it's a lot nicer for that pigeon you get four knees and then one more let's finish with shoulders so the easiest way to stretch your shoulders is Hand across the chest, hand comes up and you're pulling your arm back to the back wall. Again, you're going to hold that for 45 seconds. Change sides. 25 seconds. You're pulling it back and you try to throw your shoulders down away from your ears. You get a big arm circle around, big round of applause because that is awesome. You did a great job. So thank you for doing your quarantine workout. Keep moving, keep mobile, and now's a great time to work on that core and that flexibility because we are limited for equipment and options. Happy Wednesday.